COVID. It's all we hear nowadays. And all we ever see when we go out are masks. It's like we lost our ability to smile at one another. So we decided to go out and bring back the smile. I lost my job. I haven't been working for almost a year. Um, of course, I'm working in the restaurant industry, so it's really hit restaurants really hard. So, um, yeah, it's put a, a big damper on finances and uh, also mental health, too. It's hard, it's isolating, and it's lonely. My relationships with my friends are challenging, my relationships with my family is challenging. Uh, so, I think it's, yeah, it's tough being a young student in the pandemic draining. It's drained us completely. My husband's in a nursing home. He's been in there for a while. It's been hell on earth. Well, I have a very extensive uh, social life, dance and different clubs that, and, and groups that I belong to and it's really hampered my sociability. It can be very depressing at times. You hear a lot of uh, seniors going through depression and, and not being out, out there in the public and talking and dancing with people has really changed my mentality somewhat. There is, there is a strain. My son should have started kindergarten this year and we decided to keep him home and homeschool. And my husband's been working at home for a year where previous to that he was traveling like two or three weeks out of four. We miss our family and our friends and going to restaurants and being social. Those things are a big part of our healthy lives. I live in a senior's building and uh, there's people in that there's 51 apartments, there's people there I haven't seen for over a year because they just don't come out through health regulations and health issues that they have. No, I find it very, very difficult to be truthful. Oh, like you think of all the things that you got to do when you were in, in school that they're, they've missed out on and it's, it's been a year, right? When it happened last March, you know, I thought, oh, by September we'll be back to normal and here we are six months after that. And we don't even know when the end is in sight because they've already started talking about a fourth wave and we're not even through the third wave, right? It's definitely changed things. I mean, uh, I'm a teacher, so with the mass in school, not being able to recognize the grade nine students all year long, um, you really can't, you don't have that facial expression. They can't see you as a teacher. So just career-wise, it's definitely influenced me that way, 100%. Well, it's affected me in the sense that I don't get to see my family and friends and that's what I miss the most. Yeah, I could still get out and go for lovely walks and whatever, but I can hug my family and my friends and that's the biggest thing. Well, my family live in Montreal, so the last time I saw them was probably a year, over a year ago now, yeah. We've got family here too and I haven't seen them since Christmas. Yeah. According to Stats Canada, Canadians rating their life satisfaction as 8 or above fell from 72% in 2018 to 40% in June 2020. And there were 599,000 fewer people employed compared to last year. Low wage workers have been affected to a far greater extent than during the 2008 and 2009 recession. Yeah, we've been doing some meditation, some meditation and things like that. Online, yeah. yeah, so that, that's been a little bit what we do, but yeah. we have each other. You stay in your bubble and you keep each other going. We try to get out and make the best of it, get some fresh air and keep smiling. <laughs> we're, we're all good friends. We come out here, we meet with one another. Things like this are going to happen and they'll continue happening. You've just got to do, you know, play for the best. Everybody, uh, everybody is, is not going to be hurt by it in the long run. Um, I feel sorry for those that are, but generally speaking, life goes on. And uh, you make the best of it. If you've got a family around you, that's 
That, that's it's a big plus. I rely on reaching out to my friends and family, FaceTime and Zoom calls. I like to go outside. It's beautiful out. Um, it's so nice that spring and summer is coming up. I think that'll have a really positive effect on everybody. Um, and yeah, just checking in with everybody. Playing a lot more video games than I usually do. That's for sure. A lot more board games. We've been kind of trying to find more things we can do. A lot of Zoom kind of trivia bar happy hour things that are you know get some friends on the on the google meet oh i was i'm really into witcher 3 that one's been a been a heavy rotation for me uh, the consoles man the game yeah. gaming, eh? <laughs> gaming eh? yeah i mean what is it called easy to talk to my friends just get in the party get in a call yeah just talk with them through that if you let yourself go man you're a wreck so look at the positive sides of life I, for anybody, I think we have to look at the positive side because uh, if you're negative, it's going to bring you down. So, yeah, just stay positive. It's going to be over and we'll be out dancing on the streets again, hopefully. Oh, it's the kids. If we didn't have the kids, it would have been... It would have been a lot harder for us. Yeah, they, they don't notice it as much as we do and that brings us, brings us up, fills our cup right up. So. I get to see these guys, you know, every time I want a coffee. Um, commute's a lot better just going up the stairs and whatnot. Go for walks, get in nature. Yeah, get you know, if you, if you don't have a dog, get a, like, borrow yeah. a dog. <laughs> Take your neighbor's dog for a walk. Yeah. Small businesses have taken a major hit as a result of COVID-19. Even successful businesses like the Charcoal Pit, a Burlington staple since 1969, is dealing with the changes COVID has brought. During the first few weeks of the pandemic, business really just took a dive. We were all very concerned, you know. At the start, there was the benefits going out, serve and everything else. We were wondering what our future plan is gonna be. So we took the initiative, we took a step. Before we only had Skip the Dishes or Phone Pickup as a platform. Then we decided to introduce Uber Eats, DoorDash, uh, online ordering. And what comes with that as well is we have no more dining seating. As you can see, we have tape around the tables. We have the square for our social distancing. Uh, we had to retool the entire restaurant. Everything from the inside of the line to the way the customer pickup works had to be completely redone. Our evenings did a complete 180. Before, it was a very lively experience, you could say. We had everybody come in at about 2 o'clock in the morning and the building was just erupting with people. The environment was second to none. We've all come a lot closer. We've worked a lot harder. We've done a lot more. We've had to become more regimented in our sanitation, in checking, making sure everyone's health is in order. Just the little things, but it makes you realize a lot of things and it makes you happier to be where you are because there's a lot of people who don't have any work, they're stuck inside, they can't do anything. So we're just happy to play our small part, provide that little sense of normalcy to the people during these times. What I've noticed is the community here is very adamant in supporting local businesses and that makes me absolutely happy to hear because many of these franchises will survive regardless of the consequences. But places like us, places like Bloomberger across the street, Creme de la Creme, Lugano's Pizza, they're all small businesses started, mom and pop shops. And we rely on these communities to survive. If there is one thing we cannot lose in all of this, it's our smiles. In such an uncertain world, it might just push us one step forward, day by day.